Oh, it's snow fruit. Okay, fine. Yeah. It's fine. Let's go. Yeah, so this is back on uh, back on Tell Cross again, mm -hmm. and it's actually between Snowfruit, who is the player who actually changed teams last week, so they yeah, actually moved on to uh, the team we played, and Kachikin, who is on the Secret Forum Illuminati, same team as me, as the brown Zerg in the bottom. So yeah, uh, tell me about uh, Kachikin. Okay, so I know he's fairly strong at Zerg. Mm -hmm. uh, he main Zerg. He wasn't there for the first week because he was a little bit busy. Right. But uh, he did actually play in the team melee yesterday. Or well, not yesterday, it would have been Sunday. And mm -hmm. uh, I think he... I believe I remember him playing in the 3v3 as well. Unfortunately, uh, Secret Forum Illuminati eventually lost. But uh, it, it was a close series. That's a spoiler. I, 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 was, I was supposed to... I have the results like in, in the in the Google Doc that I'm gonna announce after this cast. Well, I should have, ah. I should have actually announced it before the cast, really. Uh, I believe uh, he did yeah, the gas okay. trick. Well, ne next week. The... Yeah, he actually used the gas trick there to get an extra drone, which is uh, quite interesting. Yeah. It looks like Snowfruit is just well. I mean, there's not really much to to mention about this early in the game. Going for that depot up the top. Uh, keeping out the way of the Zerglings, if there was any early Zerglings. Uh, Snowfruit actually did play Terran, actually, because I remember in the roster he was considered as a Zerg. Maybe he's the sort of person who doesn't like CVC, so maybe mm -hmm. they uh, play Terran. Because I know last week, uh, when Katia found out who he was against, he said, mm -hmm. oh, no CVC. And then uh, I was like, oh, you're pretty good at CVC, so I guess uh, Snowfruit dodged. Yeah. Uh, so this might be interesting on how his Snowfruit, uh, Snowfruit's gameplay may be, because we remember, I remember last week, you know, when he was play playing as a Zerg, uh, did he win his matches? I think they won overall. Yeah, they won overall. So, no, 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 they didn't, because they were from the Monthly Tasking Rookies. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, because Snowfruit played in the, um, I can't remember who he played against, so... My AOV. memory is like a sieve. Thing. Yeah, I know they played against it, AOV. It's, it's, a whole week matter. is a long time for us. <laughs> it is. We could be very when, forgetful. Yeah. yeah, especially when you have a cold as well. Mm -hmm. Now, Snowfoot is going for a second base at the natural. Uh, he did, He only built, I believe, one marine total. Building a second marine. Now, no gas yet. Yeah, so that's just a standard mm -hmm. uh, one Rex FE, actually. So um, he's gonna add his he's gonna add his marines. He's gonna add his second supply depot, which is actually fairly late. He's now building it. He's gonna use it as part of a wall, and that's actually kind of lucky for him. He only has two, maybe three marines by the time the zerglings get there, and they're already charging across the map. Yeah. So those zerglings are going in, but will will the bunker be in time? And will can Snowfood defend this in time? He has the third marine coming in. Well, there, there is a good number of Zerglings that's going in. Oh no, it just went out. We got the bunker in time too. But wait, um, actually, Katajin, Katakin, Katakin, Kajakin, Ka I, I, Katia Kin. Katia Kin. Is, is not going lair right now. He doesn't have. He's not going lair. He's going for yeah. Zerglings. On it. Oh, he's nice. Okay, he's going lair now. Yeah. It almost makes me wonder if he didn't know he was playing against Terran to start with. Mm. Because mm. that's a very... I don't know, that looks like a ZVZ build to me. The way he uh, went straight into Zerglings like that. Right. I mean, he got a decent number as well. And Snowfoot still doesn't have his gas yet. He's uh, still constantly pumping Marines and SCVs. I believe that... He's gathering more Zerglings. He may go for a a push. He got the Speedlings up. I think that was where the focus was. He and there is... Pass the bunker. He does pass the bunker because there is no block on that east side of the bunker. Bunker goes down. The Marines goes down. All the Marines are going to go down. Uh, All the no, Marines go down. In front of my screen, so I can't actually see what's going on. Oh, God. 
the SCV is is retreating to the main to, to the main base, but th this is still a lot of zerglings going in, into the main base. There's a lot of zerglings. The good thing for Snowfruit is they did get the second uh, second expansion really quickly, so yeah, he does manage to clear up that first wave of zerglings. But he did lose a lot coming in. a lot of SCVs, and more zerglings are going in. He, uh, from this point on, yeah. you don't even need a, uh, a Spire. You don't need, even need to go for a Mutalist because he's going to just keep on pumping Zerglings. Yeah, he's going to keep pumping Zerglings. He hasn't actually added any drones on either, so he is going <laughs> full on attack. And uh, right. he's going to use the Zerglings to try and clear up as many SCVs as he can. There's only one Marine. He's come out when he shouldn't have done. Yeah. Now, if, Snowfruit, if Snowfruit could defend this, if Snowfruit could defend this, he could, he could come out strong because uh, technically the, the Spire is kind of late at this point. And there is a very, very, very low econ, uh, low macro a, for Katajin, but... He's... It's whether or not he can hold on here, that, that isn't going to be really tight, so he's going to have to use his marines and micro like a... Yeah, man. and those marines should not be picked up one by one like that. But, that marine, the marine gets stuck, but as, as soon as he gets bombed by those zerglings, there is no more marines, the SCVs, there's only a few left, and there's the GG by the Snowfruit. Yep, GG is called. Unfortunately for Snowfruit, the second he lost the bunker, he was mm -hmm. in a lot of trouble. And uh, Kachikin realizing that, rather than trying to build drones and take it more to a macro game, he took his initial his initial aggression, he realized he had the, I'm trying to think of the right word, but had the momentum, that's the mm -hmm. one, and he kept on pushing, and uh, and it worked. It yeah. worked really well. And that... And that was Dog Manor versus Anumni Game 3. So Anumni takes the victory here uh, against Dog Manor.